try to be different. Don't try to mimic the last business model that you saw that was successful. Don't try to be a Harvard MBA grad sort of profile. Be yourself, be unique, and show me why you're the best person to unlock this massive opportunity. Legacy, thank you so much for joining us here at the Kenya Wall Street today. Thank you for having me. It's great to be here. So, as a leading VC here at Africa, what industries or sectors are you watching closely in the coming months? So, we invest really across the board. So, FinTech, Market Enablement, Health Tech, and Edgy Tech. But where I'm really excited is anything around cross-border and B2B transactions still a very broken, fragmented payment ecosystem, and certainly a lot of models around uh, supply chain and inventory. Okay, I, I completely agree with you. There's so much work to be done in supply chain and business transactions, especially cross-border. I mean, everything is still fairly antiquated in some regards. Now, what advice would you give a young founder who's coming to pitch you so for a young founder coming to pitch me, besides having a very clear, concise answer to what your problem and solution statement is, I would say try to be different. Don't try to mimic the last business model that you saw that was successful. Don't try to be a Harvard MBA grad sort of profile. Be yourself, be unique, and show me why you're the best person to unlock this massive opportunity. That's some spectacular advice. Now, what are you hoping to get out of your week here at the Coffin Fellows Summit? So we've been pushing the Coffin Fellowship Program to come to Africa for a long time, many, many years. Um, so we're excited to finally host them here in Nairobi. So what I'm most excited about is sharing with my classmates and many other friends that I've made throughout the years, the great opportunity that sold me on Africa, and hopefully they'll feel the same way and start investing on the continent. Okay. Now, a few... First of all, questions for you, if you don't mind. When you were first starting your career, what did you spend your first paycheck on? Uh, so it's interesting, you know, my first job was back in high school. Um, and it was actually a job out of necessity because I had stolen my parents' car and totaled it. And they, um, as part of my punishment, which was only right, I had to buy back the car. So my first job, and the many paychecks that came from it went back to paying for this car. <laughs> okay, well, greatest lessons in life come out of uh, bad decisions, correct? <laughs> yeah, I guess you learn from the good and the bad. Now, what is your favorite uh, genre of music? No, I don't have my favorite genre of music. Um, I certainly listen to a lot of Afrobeats, which I've come to love since living in Nigeria. But I love old school hip hop. Um, and then I guess everything from surf sort of vibe singer songwriter to desert electronic. Uh, so all over the place. And what is your favorite meal to have? My favorite meal is pasta. Well, uh, we... yeah, I'm trying to eat less of that just because of the carbs, but can never get it up. Never <laughs> better done it cause. In the middle. No. And the last question for you: What is the craziest thing you've ever spent money on? The craziest thing I've ever spent money on, huh, that would have to be, sign with that, really, that would, that would, that would, that would, oh my gosh, so let me think about it, let me think about it and then answer the question again, so there's not such a long pause. Okay, that's fun. It's meant to get people think. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm trying to think of, of, of something that, Actually, it would be crazy. Probably a lot of things I do are going to be crazy, but. But you're an investor. You're guided by logic. Yeah. I don't know. Right. I have one. Okay. So the craziest thing I spent money on, although, you know, it's my husband's money, so I'm not sure if it counts as my own, but I picked out my own wedding ring, which was a ring from 5th century BC in Vietnam, which is actually in the shape of a cow. Um, as an ox. Everybody thinks it's totally weird, but it's very unique um, and certainly something hopefully that'll be passed down through generations. Wow, that's spectacular. Well, Lexi, thank you so much for your time today. Yeah, thank you.